Hey there guys, it's Joey. So this is going to be a simple candle video for Beltane. I don't normally work with tea lights very much. Um, they can be nice, they can be pretty, but uh, I prefer spell candles or ritual candles, bigger candles basically. Uh, a little bit more room to work. But this is going to be like a really simple idea that you can do for Beltane or for any time. And I'm going to use these particularly so they're going to be small scented candles that you can use in your bath ritual for Beltane or you can use them at any point whatsoever if you wanted to use them for jumping over for your wish like pop one in your candle and light it and jump over you could do that. I'm actually doing this because I have some container wax left and I was accidentally sent some so I thought I'd use it and I've still got it's, it's, it's in here starting to melt and in this beautiful Hawaiian blue colour and I'm going to use that and I'm going to add rose petals to them and I've got some apple blossom fragrance oil and you can use any fragrance oil or essential oil you want and any herb you want but rose is really sort of Beltane appropriate so here's a nifty trick if you um, don't have a lot of money just turn the heat down a little bit on the wax you can pick up pre thingy tea lights for quite cheaply even in supermarkets and then you can get them out see I've just lifted that out quite easily and then this will actually I need both hands but like so that will lift out And then you just take that pre-thingy wick and you will pop it back in there. You'll get a bit of wax once it has melted down a bit. Pop those in the wax and then, or just drop a little bit of wax in and seal them down. And then if you didn't have any other wax, you could then melt down your tea light wax and just add your scent and colour if you wished. I'm going to hold on to these for future workings to, to melt down, have a bit of extra wax around, that sort of thing. So the wax is starting to melt now. I'm going to need a jury stick. So I'm going to turn this video off for now and then flip back on once I've started to fill them up and, and show you a bit what they look like. So this part of the video is just to show you that I have sealed down the wicks using that little bit of wax. So you just literally dip them in, which I need to both hands to do, so um, you have to be careful doing that. And then you can just pour your little herbs in, a little bit of oil into each one if you don't want to pour it all in the wax. So you just put a few drips in each. I'm going to do that now and show you what that looks like. So there we go, we have put some of the oil in and a few rose petals in each. Don't want to overfill them too much because they're only tea lights. So that's what they look like before they've had the wax poured into them. And I will pour the wax in and possibly pop a few more rose petals on top just to sort of set. And it is container wax, so there's less problems with uh, sinkage. But container wax can only be used when you don't want to remove it from a mould. So for this or for jars and things like that. I don't often make jars and things like that. It's not my cup of tea. But uh, if you did want to do that, then container wax is a much better thing. And I thought I would just show you my oil that I've been making. I'll probably take pictures of it. It's Angelica Root with some tourmaline chips and this is my protectant oil for me. Angelica is my favourite herb so it's beautiful. I'm really pleased with how that's come out. So I shall show you again once we have poured some more waxing. And this is what they look like when you have just about finished. So you can pop a few more rose petals right on top once it's semi-dry. Um, whilst it's drying it's not quite dry. And because it's the container wax it shouldn't sink very much of at all. You might need a little bit more in places with certain candles. Sometimes they're a bit argumentative so <laughs> each candle is different. But uh, that's basically it. And these are really simple little tea light candles that you can use to put around your bath whilst you're having that ritual that I talked about in my other video.
and they're really really gorgeous sort of dark blue fey colour, that sort of nighttime love and I put apple blossom which is one of my favourite scents in and some rose petals. So that's it for this video, many blessings!